Morning YouTubers, 42 days, 20 hours till Iron Man. It's a Friday and I'm just off for a very slow and easy 50 minute run. No particular tempo, just getting up, getting the legs moving. out it's gonna rain any minute now but I need to get back out into nature back out down the beach uh, this week I've spent due to time restrictions and work commitments a lot of time in the gym treadmill pool and running machine Although it's been nice to really work within a controlled environment where you can really gauge the watts and everything with the touch of a button. I don't think there's any substitute for getting out on the road, getting out back with nature. So I was meditating this morning and I was thinking about I'm thankful for right now in my life. It kind of spurred some further thoughts and thinking on the law of attraction. You seeking and thou sh shall find kind of attitude. About putting a thought process out there and then attracting those things back. There's a massive following based around the book The Secret. The likelihood is you would have heard of it. It's on Amazon. I'll put a link in the description below if you've not. And just really was thinking about what I've attracted into my life and how I have to take ownership over those things. How at times in our life we can think about the bad things that are happening to us or the things that aren't particularly satisfying a need. It's very easy to blame that on external factors, external environments. And to start to question and take ownership over whatever it may be spend a lot of time in that reflective state thinking about how you may improve that of course is if you have that mindset or that state to start with if you're going around life thinking about oh why does this happen to me and you're in a victim state having that victim mentality then obviously the results and the outcomes, the answers that are provided are going to be somewhat different to if you have the mentality that it's time for change, this equals this, this equals action, this equals a learning, you can have that mindset then Your own evolution or evolution evolution of self actually becomes so much quicker so much more tangible in the real world as I said the reason I was thinking about that is just some things that were highlighted just looking back at some photos yesterday and during the meditation this morning it just it triggered something it triggered a thought process think it's quite easy just to blame others, blame other things, look at the outside world as a last and final reflection of our, our lives. In actual fact, the only last and final action we can take is when we close our eyes for the last time. You know, everything else we, we have choice over, most have choice over. Yeah. 
So that's it really for now. I'm off on a 50 minute run. It's going to be a nice, quick and simple loop. And it's going to be pretty muddy, so I've brought my other brooks with me that are caked in mud. This morning I've had two bowls of porridge, coffee, haven't had my branch chains this morning, or my Omega 3s, or an iron tablet. I've been off those now just for a week, just to see what's happening with my body and if it's had an effect. Uh, the branch chains, I've not noticed a significant difference. They were, in about week three, really helping. I could tell the difference then. They're helping with muscle recovery, or appeared to. The last few days, whether I have the remains of them in my system or what, I don't know. Um, I've not noticed any mass difference, any significance there, so so that's that. Uh, I've ordered some more uh, Mega 369s, the company I normally buy them off are out of stock at the moment, so they should arrive early next week, uh, so that's the reason why I haven't been taking them, and my own tablet, I've stopped taking them because again, I have not felt the need. Uh, overall, pretty happy with everything else that's going. You know, my diet seems to be okay. I'm not losing masses of fat. My body seems to have hit that plateau, which is encountered a lot with people. I'm around about 80 kilos. So, three kilos heavier than I would like to be on the day. Uh, but I'd rather three kilos and happy and energized than three kilos and lethargic and fatigued. So that that's my attitude with regards to that at the moment. It would be nice to be a little bit lighter. Um, but it's not something that I'm holding on to. Something that is a main focus. So that's it for now. Enjoy the run. I think I'm about to get wet. But... I need to get back out again. So that's it for now. I will see you after. Hi guys, so run done, feeling really good, 
happy, found a pace, got in it. It didn't rain throughout the run, but within three minutes of getting in the car, it's just started to lightly rain to which I'm very grateful for because just while running I was feeling I was certainly in an elated state I was smiling as I was running along the beach just really enjoying being present in the moment and seeing the scenery connecting with the air the good clean quality air that I've got down here and I'm blessed with the sand over the dunes and then the sea, you know, there really is something for me, maybe not for everyone, but for me about connecting with those three elements, good clean air, sand and, and the sea. And the sun was out. It's just starting to rain, which is unfortunate for the rest of the day, but I'm really grateful I didn't do that while I was running. So while I was running, I was just thinking about and reflecting about the day. I'm going to start visualising or utilising some of my visualisation tools that I use in my coaching business. Uh, the closer I get, I was just reflecting to think about if there was anything that I need to incorporate into the emotional and mindful sector for the day. I know what is probably not recommended. I know that there's going to have to be some certain blocks on some emotions uh, to remain mentally resilient. I think I have all of my kits sorted. I've really gone through and utilised the resources that I have, the people I know, to try where possible to get pretty arranged. I've still got 40 odd days remaining but minus the five days before I leave. I'm going to make sure that I literally have had all of the bases covered. I've tested all of the kit that I'm going to be using on the day and I know exactly what I need and when I need it. And ultimately for the event itself there's not much required if you think about it it's bike hydration you know pump helmet goggles hat wetsuit trainers socks bib or whatever you're riding in you know running shorts if you're going in in the others if you're uh, changing at each station or transition area so you've got there's not actually masses of kit required however if you're like me you're leaving the week before make sure that you've got everything you need there's not going to be any last minute bits that you have to either ship over or it's sent which can be relatively expensive or seek out now where I'm going it's not like a mainland country it's, it's a small island and although they do have a number of tri stores race and race facilities there where I can pick stuff up I don't want to I want to make sure that I go with everything and that kind of concern that stressor is removed so I was just going over those things just thinking about if there was anything else I needed uh, which I don't think there is for now I'm going to get incredibly regimented about two weeks before and lay out all my kit make sure everything's there make sure it still fits of course there is that there is a temp, you know, there is an element of losing weight through the process. What you bought early on may not fit. I don't want to get to race day or a few days before and be trying to search out stuff. So that's it, really. It was a good run. I felt so happy. I felt, as I said, elated emotionally, spiritually, in all sense, connected. Felt at one. I've just arrived at the gym now. I'm gonna go for a shower, a sauna, and then it is to the office for some work commitments. 
And it's Friday, which used to mean beer night or wine night, and it hasn't for for near on two months. Good feeling, you know, alcohol free. Not that I was dependent on it before, but it's another thing that is removed from a diet which is not particularly supportive. Yeah, that's it. I will catch up with you later, I'm sure. I hope you enjoyed the ride. If you want to see the whole ro um, the run, sorry. If you want to see the whole run, then uh, you can find that on my ch uh, channel. If not, peace out. Bye for now. Hi guys, it's late afternoon. And what I've decided to do is to not only sign out early for today, but delay the remaining seven days of blood and your analysis tests to the week before. Uh, what I don't want to do is utilise all of the materials that I've bought uh, and the testing kit that I've bought now when it would probably be good to get a comparison between this week and the week before uh, I fly out to Lanzarote so that I can gauge any progress, any changes uh, and do it around about the same time. So. Although I said I'm going to do it 14 days, it will be 14 days in total, but the remaining seven days will be, hopefully, when I'm in my prime and at my fittest. So, that's it for now. Tomorrow I've got a long ride. I think we're at 60 miles, 50 or 60 miles tomorrow. I, as you can tell, I'm being attacked by the dogs because I'm just talking to something. They think I'm talking to them. So, yeah, so that's it from me. I will catch up with you first thing in the morning. If you're watching this in real time, have a good Friday. If not, then subscribe and see how I get on tomorrow on my ride. But for now, peace out, be safe, and thanks for watching.